Hollywood really likes to make movies about shipwrecks, don't they? I mean, one of the highest grossing films of all time is one of them. It's kind of sick if you think about it. Hello everyone, I'm Epic Luco, and I review movies. Station Chatham, you copy? I repeat, conditions hazardous. We've got an 18 foot fracture in our hull. How do you want us to proceed, over? Hours is directed by Craig Gillespie and stars Chris Pine, Eric Bana, Casey Affleck, and Holiday Granger. This is the true story of the shipwrecks of the SS Fort Mercer and SS Pendleton during a furious winter storm in 1952 in which both ships were split in half by the waves. And this movie chronicles the brave efforts of Bernard C. Weber, played by Chris Pine, and his three crewmen to rescue the remaining men aboard the Pendleton. So this movie could have gone one of two ways for me. It could have been an overly melodramatic biopic that focuses too much on the wrong aspect of the subject material, or it could have been a smart retelling of an incredible tale that takes time to flesh out its characters and events. So what did we get? A little bit of both, actually. My favorite aspect of the film is whenever it focuses on the shipwreck. Those scenes are very well executed and gripping. It always felt like I was a part of this situation whenever the film features the crewmates on this ship. It also features my favorite performance in Casey Affleck, who reflects a man who is thrust into leadership who is usually at the bottom of the chain. He portrays a knowledgeable but shy man who must rally the crew together and escape certain doom. Basically, whenever the shipwreck is on screen, I was riveted. However, it's the rest of the movie that just kind of feels bland. It's not bad per se, and I will admit that there are moments in these scenes that I like watching, but it overall just felt like it was missing something. The first 20 minutes in particular drag immensely. It's mainly there to set up character development, and I understand that, but it doesn't really stand out at all and it just comes off as boring. Again, when the film decides to go to the boat, it becomes a massively more intriguing one. You'll just have to sit through a lot of mundane storytelling to get to the meat of the story. The performances for the most part are hit or miss, Chris Pine went on and off for me. He kind of felt like he was underacting for a large portion of the film, but he eventually grew on me. Holiday Granger does a good job as well, however I feel a lot of the melodramatic elements are mainly attributed towards her character. If they gave her a little more to do, I probably wouldn't have minded as much. One of my favorite scenes in the movie was when the rescue team first comes across the gargantuan waves that are spun up by the storm. The direction, the visuals, and the overall intensity was really impressive to look at. And that's something to commend too. The direction in this film is really good. During the moments at sea, you get a lot of great camera angles and locations. Coupled with the great visuals, it is a really great film to look at. So as shipwreck biopics go, this is a pretty good movie. It has some very intense scenes with good direction, good performances, and an intriguing tale of courage. I just wish that some of the scenes not involving the ship were cut or shortened, because honestly it made the film drag for me and feel less interesting. I am going to give The Finest Hours a B. So far January isn't giving us too many crap movies. I'm really impressed. You're doing a decent job January. You're doing a decent job. So that was my review for The Finest Hours. Have you guys seen this movie yet? Are you interested in seeing it? Leave your thoughts in the comments below and discuss among yourselves. That's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Click the subscribe button to see more videos that I've done, and I'll see you all next time.